I have questions. The first part is about my questions based on me, and the other part, on the last part, is about questions based to the Christian body. Does having questions or questioning Christianity make me less of a Christian? Questions about Christians, their existence and the presence of truth in their lives. Questions about the church, the Christians in the church, up from the Pope down to the list of the congregation. Is it wrong of me to ask questions? Questions about God, His actions, His creation. Questions about the word, the verses and everything in it. Questions about the stories in it and the questions about the word of God. Is it wrong of me? You see, the other day I wrote a letter to God with my hand cramping up with pain. The pictures are seemingly blur, but my vision not blur. And my egg ripping up my gut. I don't know if I'm supposed to be asking those questions. But as I wrote, I had my fingers crossed that maybe one day, if not tomorrow, I am going to find those questions. You see, the thing is, all my life I've been a Christian. No, let me say, all my life I have been going to church. But now my life as a whole, my life is spiritually empty. What is wrong with me? Now and then I have been ignited by the fire. And I've got my fears and my pride bent down. But you know why? Why am I still an empty vessel with no flames? Is it possible that I am the kind of a vessel that cannot be filled anymore because my vessel has piles of sinful ashes, sinful ashes still piled up in my heart? Why am I an empty vessel? Sometimes when I read the word of God, I get more questions than I got answers. Hey, I don't mind, don't say I'm paranoid, I just have questions. You see, I'm not going to ask who gave birth to the wives of Adam's sons because I mean it can't be their sisters because that would be incest and incest is the sin in the house of God so I am going to ask if Judas Iscariot had to betray Jesus to fulfill God's word for Jesus to die how possible is it that some of the sins that I have committed the way to fulfill a purpose in other people's lives I hope you got that question how possible it is that some of the sins I have committed, they were to fulfill a purpose in other people's lives. You see, you all say, you all say we are the same. We are all the image of God. But why, why us, the bloods have been made, feel like less human. We've got our IQ judged by our skin. Our intelligence matured by words we didn't even utter. We've got the past of our forefathers tied at our heels. And we've been made to shut up with our stories. Because wow, our skin is popping. Our skin is dripping and popping, dripping and popping melanin. Why? Why can't they see that this, this is not just God, baby. This is the whole squad of precious gems. And yes, we are dripping and popping melanin. I, I have questions. Why was Christianity introduced to Africa? Will you blame me if I were to say that now Christianity is a disgrace in Africa? Why is the church filled with so much hypocrisy? Could you blame me if I will say once again that Christianity is now a disgrace in Africa? My God, look at those pastors who feed people snakes and cry in the name of Jesus. The pastors who are failing to preach the word of repentance, but they rather preach the word of miraculous money and mysterious money in a bank account I didn't even work on. Why? Why are they not preaching word of repentance? Because they are afraid that the next Sunday the congregation will be empty, so are going to be the offering baskets. I, I'm sorry if you think if you think I'm paranoid. I, I have questions to you people. If you can spend so much to come here, if you can dress up so well, if you can make up yourselves like this, why why are you struggling to spread love? If God is love and what we are spreading is love, then why is the world filled with so much hatred? Is it because we are not doing enough or we are doing too much of the wrong thing? I have questions. When are you going to realize that the manifestation of the word of God is it not about shouting, I receive, I receive. When are you going to realize that the manifestation of the word of God in your life? It is not about crawling, crawling to the pulpit, kissing your pastor's face, shouting, Yes, Papa! Yes, Papa! I receive, Papa! Prophesy, Papa! Prophesy, Papa! When are you going to realize that Christianity is not about comfortability? Christianity is not about receiving. Christianity is not just a 
support me right listen it's about being selfless once again once again dear church i am sorry if you think i'm paranoid it's just that my head is filled with so much questions and i have my fingers crossed that one day one day if not today i am going to find the answers thank you